Okay, next we have Avatar of Light Interworld Network, book number two, written by Dimitri Bilik. It is 551, sorry, 511 pages. It is 599, um, and it is not available on Kindle Unlimited. Here's the author's description. Sergei managed to lay his hands on the divine avatar of Savior, which brings with it the kind of new abilities other players can only dream of. Still, it's not the right moment to relax and go with the flow. Two of his friends have been captured. The third one is being kept hostage while Sergei is forced to procure the elixir of power. And just to add insult to injury, Sergei is on the radar of Morbian, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and their future doesn't bode well for Sergei. Uh, full disclosure, I received a advanced copy for review. I purchased a copy when it became available. Um, this review for the novel, is, it's a Russian translation, um, so be aware that there are you know, tiny little translation issues occasionally, uh, but overall, it's a, it's a pretty good translation. But um, the review for this is a lot like book number one, and that's because basically it's a slice of life story. It's very enjoyable, um, but it's very slice of life. Um, there's lots more action inventory, I think, compared to book number one. Like the story really just started with like an action-y, action-y intro. Um, and it feels a little more, I don't want to say sci-fi, like sci-fi fantasy, like maybe sci fantasy, um, because there's a lot of like world hopping and we have more mysterious figures with different powers coming into the story. Um, and and the RPG, RPG stuff is, is still relatively light. Um, that's not really the big focus. It's more of like a, a way to show the power growth, them having skill growth, different magical abilities, descriptions and such. Um, the story is a little more spellish and the main character gets more spells to use um and but the mini time travel aspect is still the most interesting part of the story if you don't remember what that was from book one uh the main character has the ability to rewind rewind time a few seconds um and so there's there's this um it allows the main character essentially to die repeatedly uh get trapped or make mistakes and not be the end of the story it's a very interesting way to kind of show the flaws of the main character and show his his character growth as he gets into these really tough situations and finds a way out because he can anytime he gets in the trouble or gets gets in a fight or gets gets killed essentially he can rewind time um and go back and try to redo things uh where those negative consequences could don't hit or to win the fight right um and it's, it's a fun little it's a fun little device um it, it's it's used while well. I think um, sometimes it's kind of a MacGuffin to get him out of a particularly untenable situation, but you know it, it's it's a different way of storytelling, so I, I like it. Um, on that note, um, the cliffhanger at the end of book one, absolutely resolved in the first uh, little bit of the story, kind of unsatisfyingly. I I I was expecting something I don't know more majestic or something more you know epic. Um, so it was a, a slightly disappointing of which disappointing in that um but thankfully the, the end of book two doesn't have that kind of cliffhanger it's a very well managed <laughs> kind of ending uh for this book so there you go um for me um get to score 7.2 out of 10 um that's avatar of light interworld network book number two enjoyed it but it's not my favorite russian transition novel um but still had it had, had, had a fine time with it 